Tattoos have been worn by men for thousands of years. They can help others perceive you as more masculine, aggressive, and dominant. They aren't for everyone, but if it fits your aesthetic, they're a great way to augment your style. It's important to remember though, that tattoos are rather permanent. Removing them is costly, painful, and not always effective. So when you get a tattoo, you wanna make sure it's done right and make sure it's something that you're gonna be happy with for years to come. In this video, I'm gonna cover seven tattoo mistakes. Tattoo mistake number one, getting a tattoo on your face, neck, or hands. Though tattoos have become more accepted in Western culture than in previous decades, having a tattoo on your face, neck, or hands is still often frowned upon and will greatly decrease your job opportunities. Unless you're a rock star or work in a tattoo parlor, keep your tattoos limited to places that can be easily covered by clothing. Tattoo mistake number two, getting your girl's name tattooed on your body. I get it, you've been going out with this new girl for a few weeks and she is everything you've ever wanted. You're going to get her name tattooed on your body as a sign of undying love for her. Hold up now, you're about to make a serious mistake. Statistically, tattoos last longer than most relationships. So if or when this perfect relationship ends, removing that tattoo may be more painful and difficult than the actual breakup. Tattoo mistake number three, going for a trendy tattoo. The problem with trendy tattoos is that they can easily date you. For example, barbed wire tattoos around the bicep, that screams 1990s. It's far better to go with something timeless, like an anchor, flower, or skull. Now, if you really like a tattoo style that's currently popular and trendy, there's nothing wrong with getting it, but be intentional and don't get something just because it's in fashion right now. Tattoo mistake number four, going cheap. You get what you pay for when it applies to many areas of men's style, and tattoos are no exception. If you're getting something permanent on your skin, you want to make sure it's going to be of good quality. Do your research. Find a skilled tattoo artist that does consistently good work, and don't be afraid to spend a bit more to get a quality tattoo. Tattoo mistake number five, getting a tattoo under the influence. I know, getting a tattoo seemed like a great idea at 2 a.m. in the morning when you're roaring drunk, but trust me, you don't want to do anything under the influence. Something as permanent as getting a tattoo should only be done with careful consideration, not when your brain is fogged by drugs or alcohol. Tattoo mistake number six, getting a misspelled tattoo. Few things make you look as dumb as a misspelled tattoo. You can find many examples of this on the internet. Make sure you don't join this unfortunate club. Tattoo mistake number seven, getting tattoos that you won't be proud of later in life. Gentlemen, try to stay away from any tattoos that are raunchy or you would be ashamed to show your family. Anything sexual or involving profanity is a safe bet to stay away from. It may seem cool now, but what about in 20 years? There you have it, gentlemen. Avoid these seven mistakes and you will be well on your way to rocking some awesome tattoos. Now, it's also important to understand that different cultures have different views on tattoos. What may be cool and acceptable in one country may be shunned in another. Remember, gentlemen, a tattoo isn't something you want to get on impulse. You want to be proud of it in 10, 20, and even 30 years. Remember, the most important thing is to be deliberate and to think through the process. For more information on tattoos, on how to control your image, on how to dress for success, gentlemen, go check us out at realmenrealstyle.com. We were really excited to see was that we ended up getting to interact with quite a few people who had a vested interest in who we were as people, who we were as professionals. Uh, and not to be cheesy, but in reality, we felt like we walked away with kind of a brotherhood of people who are interested in seeing how we succeed, see what we do in life, uh, and see what we do with our, our venture. I think any time you have a, uh, an opportunity to be around other positive folks who are striving to better themselves in whatever way it is, that, uh, that just encourages you to, to step out and make positive changes yourself.